The only thing we know for sure about the brain is that we don't know much about it. At École Polytechnique, a team of researchers from the Optics and Bioscience Lab, together with the Institut de la Vision, has developed a new imaging system to update our map of the brain and give it a stunning new resolution. Um, until now, uh, we only uh, had um, uh, information at the large aerial uh, scale mostly with techniques such as MRI. But what is actually uh, at the forefront of international uh, research uh, um, uh, nowadays is really get a mapping at a much more final scale and map the brain at the uh, single neuron and single cell uh, resolution. Their innovative work has been published in the journal Nature Communications. They gave neurons genetic markers, which make them light up in different colors when they're hit by lasers. This allows researchers to differentiate between the neurons. Otherwise, well, the brain just looks too messy. It's basically a, uh, a plate of, of noodles. It's extremely complex. You have uh, thousands and thousands of connections of very thin uh, projections. So color is um, a very powerful tool to uh, uh, give an, uh, an additional layer of information when analyzing complex tissues such as the brain. Layer upon layer, the lasers draw out the map of the brain and help us understand how it develops from its basic stage in the embryo into this tangled labyrinthine organ. Our technique is uh, extremely useful for uh, neurobiologists who study um, the development of the brain to understand how uh, does uh, this organ uh, uh, evolve and mature throughout the development. Uh, it can also be used to understand um, some um, defects of development, uh, leading, of course, to um, uh, disease such as schizophrenia and or uh, autism. A mouse's brain weighs just one gram, and yet it takes days to draw a high-definition map of such a brain. For now, it is hard to imagine doing the same with a hopping three-pound human brain. But the perspectives are huge in this field where everything is still waiting to be discovered. And also, it's beautiful.